Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's time for our next hot topic, and this one talks about electricity. Now, it says NLC TUC condemn higher tariff for non existent electricity. The Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, and the Trade Union Congress, TUC, have appealed to the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, NERC, and power sector operators to reverse the increase in the electricity tariff within one week. Now, joining us to have a conversation is Wisdom Chap Jumbo. He's a public affairs analyst. Good morning, and thank you for joining us. Good morning, and uh, thank you. Feels good to be back again here. Always a pleasure are having are you, you here. A. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best question to start to with. Start with. Yeah. I'm not in Bandi. Actually, my area is around Bandi. Mm. Um, I constantly follow NEC's um, um, publication. Now, of course, my disco in my area, their publication, you know, they, they constantly update it as they upgrade the feeders mm. to Band A. And um, uh, really, it's not been easy. Mm. <laughs> Some of us don't even know whether we, we have we we banned, fall into. banned any alphabet or where the proper band. Call your disco. <laughs> 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 I did the exact same thing when I, I wasn't sure where I was in my mm. area. And I called my disco. I said, I told the customer care person, look, I want to know which one am I in so mm. that I prepare myself. Is it band A or <laughs> band B? <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm buying, I'm buying, you know, units yes. and I don't even know how yes, much Yes, but they've constantly updated. Um, at least that, that's a directive from NEC. Mm. Uh, to constantly give that public information um, as they increase or upgrade the feeders in many areas mm. to ban A. So, I mean, my recommendation to everyone would be follow up your discos on social media, most especially, and try to keep yourself abreast so you don't wake up one morning and you're in band A. a. And <laughs> mm. But how has yeah. your experience been like in your mm. band B? Because we're talking about... Uh, non-existent non mm. electricity, as it were. So, how is it? Been? I think my area is fair. Uh, but B, you get about 18 hours. Yeah. So um, it says on paper. Uh, so you said, but, but to be fair, if you can do the calculation, is it up to? Well, to be fair on them, I think we'll get around that. Okay. You know, but I don't know because my, my house is on solar, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure I, I'm able to count. Because so you can't count because you have solar. I'm on, I'm on solar, but if I, mo if I monitor, if I can say my monitoring or observation of us uh, sometimes, um, I think... They try fair enough, um, at least for the last couple of days, for the entire between 10 p.m. to 6, 7, 8 a.m., there's, okay. there's, there's light. Um, so that's a huge chunk, yes, that's you a know, out, chunk. Of, out of the 18 yes, hours. Yes, so my, my solar sort of covers the four hours or three hours when... Um, and do you have that every day? Yes, every day. I think for the last five days, I've okay. noticed that has been consistent. Mm. Uh, I can't speak for other areas, though. Most people yeah. are experiencing this differently. But um, I see a, a little bit of effort mm. um, in that area because my understanding is they want to make more money. So they want to make sure they are consistent so they can upgrade those feeders from mm. band B to band A, you mm. know, so that they can even get more money mm. um, if they're on band A. But uh, those in band A are really complaining. Not everybody is actually getting that 20 hours. Yeah. Um, some people are really struggling with the increase in tariffs. So if you are to spend 10k usually on your prepaid, um, that 10k can only take you a couple of days now because mm -hmm. that that has gone up in a way. So a few people in the band A are really not having it easy, and, mm -hmm. and they are complaining very very bitterly. Mm. Uh, but of course, what can we do? Yeah. Even the so band A doesn't. Uh, it's not consistent. <laughs> well, mm. it could be 20 hours, but yeah. inside the 20 hours, the There's light will go off like yeah. so many times. times. Yes. 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 I was in a band A area the other time. I was mm. like, okay, yes, now I have arrived. <laughs> <laughs> but within the hour, within one hour, the light went off like five or six times. Uh, so I think the uh, NEC is monitoring these things, and uh, I think NEC has also put out numbers uh, for consumers to call them directly mm. um, if they think their area is on band A and it's not receiving in, 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 as I mean, much power. In, in, yeah. out the, the power that is stipulated for band A, mm. I think you can report this directly to NEC mm. and NEC will take it up with the discos and all of that, and which I think is the best approach. Mm. Uh, if, if you're on band A, I advise that you calculate. The number of times you don't see the lights and you are showing me, I told the customer campus, I'm going to count it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be realistic. If you're yeah. going to take all that money, then yeah, I have should to be able to provide, yeah. should be able to provide, provide that power. So yeah. let's see how it goes. But it's not been easy, really, um, mm -hmm. for a lot of because you know, now this is the cost, if you're in band A, the cost has gone up. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, other salaries and income have really gone much, up. Yeah. So 
there's so much struggle you are putting more money even the businesses are complaining yeah i was speaking to um a ceo uh, recently who runs a very big site and he was lamenting he said look wisdom it seems like it is cheaper now for me to run my uh, uh, firm now on, on, on diesel that being on bad A, bad a. Uh, because the money he's paying now is really so much and it's, maybe it's even charging him, uh, it's costing him less if he, if he runs his generators on diesel. Mm. And you see that, that that's a concern now uh, mm. automatically. Mm. And, I, and I don't want, I, I, I can imagine the economics a lot of business owners and organizations are putting on the table now yes. to be able to do that. Uh, which one should we rely on? Which one shouldn't we? Because it's costing them so much. Mm. So that just know. debunks everything that uh, mm. people were saying that uh, let there be power first. Mm. Nigerians will be willing to pay. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, that's the question I was going to ask because the last yeah. time you were here, we yeah. had a conversation and one of the questions I raised was the fact that um, let's say the power, if we say mm. the power, we'll be able to pay. Mm -hmm. I know I also raised the question. Uh, the question I raised was, will people be able to afford it? Mm. But I'm sure when I was asking that question, I did not think we would see about 300 percent increase for this electricity tariff because we're still talking about um, the fact that there was oh, you know the, the the grid was always collapsing um, there's not enough power yeah. so now for the band a customers you're saying power mm -hmm. maybe for for that amount of hours mm -hmm. even though it might not be as consistent because it keeps tripping mm -hmm. off but then you're seeing the power and the amount is a lot, it's a lot. and obviously TUC and you um, NLC are coming out and saying you know what this this it's not possible. What do you think about the increase? I think I want to yeah, ask increase. that. Yes, the increase. Mm -hmm. How do you increase a tariff? Because in every other you know country, mm -hmm. you know that the government subsidizes one thing or another for the country. Mm -hmm. Right now, we had fuel subsidy that was taken away. Removed. We have electricity subsidy that removed. is being removed as well for band A customers. Mm -hmm. How do you move? You know how to increase something with about three hundred percent. I can understand that maybe you'll get there at yeah. some point, yeah. but how do you just go all in like that? <laughs> okay, so let me try to answer everything now. Uh, first of all, you need to know that uh, what, what what is driving the increase rate for band A is because seventy five percent of what drives our power is gas. Mm. You know, and now because of the exchange rates instability and all of that, the cost of gas has gone up. Which is not our fault. Which is <laughs> equally, it's not let's say, it's not our fault. Mm -hmm. You know, but now, uh, and, and gas is sold at price in dollars. So, as we are having exchange rate for fluctuations, uh, the cost of gas is sort of is unstable and going up. Uh, yeah. That even affects cooking gas, uh, because my cooking gas <laughs> cost has increased over time. Uh, now, so because of that, uh, uh, we need the gas for power. Mm. So if we need to be able to pay the gas companies uh, to supply the gas, it means that we need more money to get that. So all of these economics, I mean, uh, uh, people in this sector... Don't we have gas in Nigeria? Uh, well, we, we have <laughs> gas. Because yes. I know there is a Nigerian well, gas company. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know that that they, 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 they have the... They have you um, the that the one of the... One of the egg egg. collapse, um, was it in January or so, that lasted yeah. for about two weeks? Mm. or a week or, or something it was because of shortage of gas you know the nigerian gas company had complained or, or mentioned or communicated that they were not getting gas you know so that is one of the reasons uh, i mean I, the I, gas I, company I, was not getting gas yes I so, 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 so what's the like I, I know i know there is an egg bean plant or something yeah i know nigerian gas company is in worry yeah i know they are supposed to be producing gas for yeah. us right so they're, they're, is when, it that the production is to, not enough when you, yeah production is not enough obviously when you talk to people within that gas space they even would let you know that uh, we are we don't even have the uh, necessary infrastructures Mm. you know around around gas at the moment that's why you see the gas associations and uh, people within the gas space they are really advocating you know for i mean for there to be investment into infrastructures that are going to drive gas right. you know and all of that because it affects everything so that has also affected electricity now which which we are discussing and, and that costs the high so uh, at the same time like we said before uh, we, we're thinking is nigerians can pay for this if it's even available but the reason why we're, there's, a, there's so much complaint now is because our purchasing power has mm. really dropped drastically. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I, I, at the end of last month, I mean, I saw how much my house personally consumes, and I saw the bill. I'm like, oh wow, this has <laughs> gone up 
you know, more than what it used to be before. And, and that, that is the same to Nigerians and a lot of Nigerians. Yes. You know? and, and that's why uh, Labour Congress, um, um, LUC and TUC, TUC uh, they are saying, look, they are not even saying minimum wage again. They are saying living wage. wage. Yes. You know, the wage that can even survive you. Yeah. And guess how much they are looking at for that? 615,000 there, you know, as minimum wage, you know, for Nigerian workers. And if you do the breakdown like they gave, you know, you will see that it's not even enough. Mm -hmm. You know, because the actual, and government will offer one yes, in, in actual re reality, uh, I mean, minimum wage, should, that minimum or living wage should be uh, should be paid around one million naira for every Nigerian to survive. Mm. You know, but they looked at it and they broke it down to like six fifteen. You might, it might sound a lot, you know, when you hear six hundred and fifteen thousand, but. When you when you see the breakdown they have given, which yeah. of course when they go into that meeting with the tripartite committee, you know, to look at all those figures, I, I wonder what they are going to take out, what they're going to remove. In the breakdown of that analysis, in a month, what they pegged for buying electricity is twenty thousand naira. In that breakdown, which is not enough, which is not enough, is not enough. Not enough. enough. and imagine you know? if you are if, in the band A yes, area. Yes, so if you allow me now to just give you that yeah. breakdown, maybe if you if you look at the housing, they pegged it at forty thousand naira. Um, electricity twenty thousand naira, utility ten thousand. To buy gas and kerosene for those who use gas or kerosene, they pay that at maybe between twenty five to thirty five thousand naira. Food a day for a family of about six, you know, maybe within that range, uh, they pay about nine k a day. <laughs> you know, so multiply that nine How thousand. How much do you take to Nine thousand cannot feed you in a day. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. you know, if you really want to feed, mm. you know, uh, medical they pay about fifty thousand naira. Sanitation for a month about ten thousand naira. Then transport, which of course we know takes the bulk of you know what uh, uh, every worker pays and I mean, mm -hmm. in Lagos alone, I can imagine what transportation is compared to other areas in the country. Yeah. They pay it about a hundred and ten thousand naira a month. Let's be realistic. If you look at this. It is not it's even enough little. for a living yeah. wage. No, that's for someone who's you know, jumping buses. It, but know, even then, in, in this transportation now, you are still going to jump buses. You mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. the, you twenty k for electricity. I, I, my own apartment, uh, my own house. I spend more than twenty k. You know, mm. on, on a little bit. Even before now. Even before yes. now. So, so you can imagine. Where, I don't know which. If you're on band A, this is one week light. You know, if you're on band months, A, yes. you know, within a month. So you can imagine what this is. So, our purchasing power. Is, is really low and when that is low that's when Nigerians will complain you know that this is too much and now a those state government the only government has increased you know a minimum wage to so say we can pay 70,000 there I'm not sure what the cross is saying 40 cross by saying 40 mm -hmm. other states are still at a 35 uh, or 30,000 era minimum wage and waiting now, for the federal government which has expired by the way since 18th of April yeah you know uh, since cause that was approved in 2019 so a lot has changed so if our purchasing power is low how do we afford electricity for example how do we afford even to buy fuel the cost of fuel now in lagos you could get in some areas 900 some areas 800 some areas you know 700 outside lagos in river state as we speak fuel is about a, a thousand naira wow. in some communities beyond you know the main city, town main yeah. city of port Harcourt, like where I'm from in Bonnie local government, it's about 1,500. Wow. Bonnie, the oil producer. Yes, that's yeah. my local wow. government. So everybody comes to fire your car, a liter of petrol there is 1,500, 1,400, even more. I'm not, I better even check us out this morning what the cost is. You know, the cost, because the community is disconnected from, from the main town. Yeah. So you mm. have to go by boat yes, to, to Bonnie from Port mm -hmm. That we used to pay many years ago, 1,500, 2,000 today. I just paid for my mom to travel. She paid seven thousand naira wow. because, of course, that is driven by the from cost Bonnie to from uh, Bonnie to uh, Port House. Port. So when our purchasing power is low like this, we're going to complain about everything. We're going to buy it. Everything is going to be a problem. So imagine if you're not earning above six hundred and fifteen thousand naira. Now, mind you, in that breakdown I gave as the living wage that the TUC and AUC are putting forward. When you spend all of this, you have not seen the Kobo. Yes. So let us put that, you, know, you have not seen Because the that's why it's supposed to be the base, the Yes, minimum. this is just the minimum. So we have not said. So when you live a life as you earn, as you, you work, you chop, you have not saved it. You know, just to make ends meet, then you're not living. 
you know so that is the problem that's why everybody's complaining about the electricity you know so and, and with the way things are going like i said before the discos are working to make sure their feeders are working mm. and they can upgrade everybody to be within the band a if this happens what do we do mm. that's why people are saying what can government step in to do but the minister of power is like you know when he met with the house of reps he said look we either embrace this mm. or, we, or we expect blackouts across the country so these are real issues. I'm not I sure. I think that statement was very insensitive. Uh, quite I, 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 quite I think insensitive. So well. why, why should we be paying for the incompetence of the people in power? Because that's what it means. Yeah. You cannot generate ideas enough to mm. make sure that uh, you do something differently. Yeah. You're not telling us to, to raise our... We don't have the money. Where is the money? There You're not no putting money it in my, in my no money. So if you don't end above, like I said, if you don't end above 600 to 615,000 naira anywhere you work, then you are just getting by. You're just, in fact, you're not even getting you're just by. Existing. Just existing. You're just existing. You're just existing, you know, because yeah. really it is tough. And you know, in Nigeria now, there are people who their salaries are 30,000, 40,000. Yeah. Just imagine where those people live, how they survive. What, that's how, why, they even feed. how they even because feed? Because food is so expensive. Food is so expensive. Now, if you go to, I mean, I, I, I try... To know the cost of things in the market, I try to go to the market too, you know, and I try to ask questions. Like I said, when I saw the bill my house people gave me to say this is what for the but I screamed. I said, "What is eating the chunk of this thing? <laughs> <laughs> we seem to be going high in everything, yeah. you know." But the cost of things like cost of living chicken, in general, turkey, you know, all these proteins in the market. You need to hear the cost. Rice. Rice. I bought rice, rice um, <laughs> uh, over a week ago. Congratulations. Guess how much? <laughs> you know, we've been talking about it saying, you know, rice is about 80,000 to 90,000 yeah. per bag. I bought rice for 145,000 naira. This was less than two weeks ago. Yeah. And you know, as perishable goods, you need to refrigerate them. Mm -hmm. So you, you need, need electricity. You need electricity to do that. So when the costs, when you're already in the bad day area, maybe, and that has gone up, you need to factor in that cost. You know, in a way, so that so that goes to the consumer. So power is at the at the core of everything. You can imagine that it's it's not. I think we just need to go back to the old times. You know, <laughs> you know those little um, lanterns, the yes. one that I think that's that's <laughs> where they want to. <laughs> no, at, at this point, I think then you have to dig the holes yes. and put your stuff in there to make it cool. Is this it not seemed, a deficiency that we are exhibiting? You know, in in governance because. We have sufficient sun. Mm -hmm. We have sufficient wind. Mm -hmm. And we're not talking about generating um, electricity from, so, from sun so, or mm. the wind and all that. Is this not a deficiency? We are the ones paying for that. We're, we're talking about it, but we're not just talking enough. Um, like in the Electricity Act 2023, as signed by then President uh, Buhari, uh, I mean, there's a part of that act that sort of, for the first time, speaks to renewable energy, you know, promoting it and all of that. And so. It is there. It's just that maybe we're not talking enough about it. We need to do more. We need to be able to promote it more. The National you know? Assembly in the time of Buhari, I remember mm. this uh, without having to call names. Mm. They were talking about uh, alternative energy and yeah. all that. And one senator or a few senators got up to say, we shouldn't even be talking about electric cars as a country that produces oil. Mm. We should not even be talking about mm. that. Mm. But guess what? The world is moving away what from away that. From what that? Is so, what is moving? So if the National Assembly or anybody in the National Assembly will mm. be with that kind of mentality, mm. so you can imagine what kind of laws they are making, what kind of policies they are mm. enabling. In so that change needs to start there. And I disagree with that uh, honorable member in a way because... For example, Lagos has introduced electric buses. Yeah. You know, they've done the first phase of rollouts, um, and, and that went so well. Mm. And, and they are doing this in partnership with one of the companies, indigenous companies here. And they are doing the second phase where they are, you know, they've, bought, they've gotten more buses. And the plan by the Lagos government is to phase out, you know, uh, what we know as the petrol BRT buses yeah. and introduce electric. And that is going well, sincerely. We need to give it to Lagos' government for mm -hmm. taking that lead. Yeah. These are the kind of things we want to see. Innovations. Innovations we want to see government drive. You know, the federal government has also, you know, introduced the CNG and all of that buses, which is rolling out, you know, well. Maybe these are the things that, <laughs> that, that we hope will reduce, yeah. you know, the burden on using fossil fuel, which mm -hmm. of course is petrol, 
uh, which we look at the other environmental, you know, harm that it brings to us, you know, as a people again. You know, so I, I don't think we need to be, we need to look at how do we, for example, if we have more homes use solar, you know, if we have more people, like some companies are also thinking, if some of them have met me, I say, oh, wisdom, how do we put my organization on, on solar? How do we, you know, how do we do all of this? And my, I, mean, I introduced the companies who can do this. And all it's possible. It's telling one of the banks, telling banks, if you go to their head office here in Lagos, the entire building is 100% on solar. Powered by solar. Powered by solar. So if it's possible for them to do, then the others can also take leave. That reduces your burden and costs on what you pay for diesel to begin to power generators. And electricity. And electricity. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, so we need to get to that place also when if I generate so much with my own um, solar in my house, I could give back to the grid. You know, mm. that happens in several times, you know, across the world, which I think is a work in progress. <laughs> I think it's a work in progress. But this so if you were, to, you were made the special advisor to the uh, Minister of Power, because a lot of people are calling for his resignation even, mm. that he's, he's, not, he's not doing what he is supposed to do. Mm. So what would you really advise him to make sure uh, that uh, uh, power is available to everybody and at an affordable they will cost? Rate, yeah. mm. I don't know. I'm not sure I can answer that question at the top of my mind just right <laughs> now. It may be something we need to look at. Um, I mean, I need to be But what are our alternatives? Well, uh, well, obviously, mm. you have the experience with the solar. Yes, and that. So yes. what are the alternatives? And how easy or otherwise is it to get them? I, I think uh, uh, solar, like solar home systems are really, a few of them are cheap. Um, you can get... A solar lantern, a solar lamp. About 30, I'm, I'm talking about the fact um, so, the government. Yes. How can they key into yeah. providing uh, this solar alternative mm -hmm. uh, to uh, the power system that we have? First step is to really engage people in that space first. Mm. You know, where do we need help? Where do we need the support? How do we? Uh, for example, there's a there's a program that will happen next week. Uh, uh, that's going to talk about how do we drive open source. You know, with energy access, mm. some of those things, government needs to be part of it. You know, how do we, what kind of support? Largely, funding is a big, you know, issue mm. within, mm. you know, the energy access space. Reason why this is not as, you know, as everywhere as it is. So if we can close that gap, what are the kind of investment we need in this area? There's a company that has built a solar panel assembly plant mm. in Lagos, you know, just uh, at the Bejuleki here. What they are doing is they get the parts, they come here, they assemble everything, and the solar panels, you don't have to import it. They are here now. Yeah. You know, that kind of organization now that is doing this, uh, what can we do to scale up their production? Mm. You know, where is the gap they are facing? They've been able to source some investment here and there. Um, I'm aware they recently got some $2 million investment that has you know, brought the factory to where it is. Mm. You know, if government can step in, uh, I don't know if it's okay to mention their name, you know, but if, if government can step in to support them, for example... Because it will up, benefit them. Yeah, it will benefit And So once we can buy those, we can produce those solar products in-country, we reduce the cost. I know how much I'm I spent yeah. you know, to, to put solar in my house uh, because most of the things they got to set up my own solar system you know, was, was important. important. You know? So if we can produce those things in-country, we reduce the cost and mm. therefore... Other Nigerians can get it at a very affordable rate. Mm. So if I would advise, uh, like, like a question as a special advisor maybe to the mm. Minister of Power, my, 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 my call to him will be, look, can we approach the sector? Can we approach these people? Can we provide funding? Can we go to this company I've mentioned, for example, where are their gaps? Can we help them drive to get more investment, mm -hmm. either from government or anything? Can we scale their production? In that way, everybody begins to buy this at affordable yeah. rates. We, we just uh, hope that uh, our mentality will get as mature yeah, as that. Yeah, um, yeah. We heard that there was a young man who was producing, um, more or less, solar cars, or mm. not. Yeah. He, he could fabricate some of these things. Yeah. Until now, we've not heard any kind of uh, encouragement from mm. government. Oh, I've seen that. Seen we, many have, many. we have mm -hmm. a situation where the National Assembly wants cars, and we have a local production unit They here. want to buy the foreign they want yes. buy the foreign ones, and they said, and these ones have name. Mm. <laughs> so they are, they are talking anyway, about I was just going to ask, because we yeah. have to wrap it up yeah. now. The reversal that N NLC and TUC is asking for, do you think that there's any chance that that would happen? Unfortunately, no. I so we have to embrace I this. I don't think it's feasible uh, mm. to have that reversal. Um, I doubt it. Uh, mm. We just have to see 
what can we do around it, mm. uh, what is possible. Uh, like I said, in the breakdown they have given now, uh, they've given, and they gave this 20,000 when this hike has not happened. Yes, yes. You know, and this, you know, living, living wage mm. when, when this has not happened. Now, if this has happened, it means that figure it needs to go up. But mm. uh, uh, I think uh, it will be taxing this uh, uh, committee, tripartite committee on minimum wage that the president has set up to look at this holistically. Mm. Um, I'm also, we're also aware that uh, what the state government now gets from FAC has tripled, yeah. you know, so uh, what are they doing with all those money? Mm. Uh, some state, the IGR has gone up, you mm. know, uh, what are they doing with all those money? We need yeah. to see that, we need to cut costs mm -hmm. in governance so that we can be able to help the people, Yeah, you know, so all of these things, I hope when the committee uh, sits, they are with their good conscience, be able mm -hmm. to look at some of these yeah. things yeah. and let's give the workers, you know, a reasonable living wage. Yeah. Wage. Minimum wage is a long talk. <laughs> Let us live first yeah. before we are approaching the minimum. So, but I don't think the reversal mm. is feasible. Uh, I'm not sure how they want to reverse that mm. um, in any way. Well, let's just look at the minimum wage and see <laughs> yeah. what is going to be done. And I hope that the people um, working on it would be as realistic yes. as possible, especially yes. with our economy. Yes. But this yes. is where we have to draw the curtain Thank here. So it was so lovely Thank having you, you, as usual. Thank you, Wisdom, for coming. Thank you for Thank bringing you so the wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've been talking about the electricity tariff hike and the fact that NLC and TUC have asked for a reversal. And, well, they've asked them to reverse it within one week. And we're speaking with Wisdom Chap Jumbo. He's a public affairs analyst. But this is where we have to wrap it up on the show today. It's been lovely having the breakfast with you. My name is Romet Paulson. We'll see you again tomorrow. And I am Nyamgul Agaji. Have a very lovely day. Bye.